Hello. Today, I wanted to talk about load bank testing, how we do it, why it's done, why is it good for the generator to load bank, and what is a load bank in general. So, we'll start with the main concept. Load bank in a generator means extracting as much power as the generator is rated for to test that the generator is capable of holding the main power that it's rated for. In today's case, we're dealing with a 30 kW Kolo generator, which is connected at 120 to 40, which gives us about 125 amps. Um, we'll be doing the load test for about half an hour today. Typically, the way we do a load test is the first 10 minutes we'll start at about 20% load, the next 10 minutes we'll do at about 50% load, and for the following uh, remaining of the time, we'll do it at full load. The way you load bank a generator all starts with the breaker actually. So when we open up the breaker panel, we'll always see the customer connection, which, which will be on the top, and the user connection, which will be on the bottom. In this case, we're testing 120 to 40, which means we only need two hots in phase A and phase C. From here, after we connected our two hot leads into the breaker, we have our other two leads connected onto the load bank. To connect our here on lead A and lead B, we have the load bank connected to the 120 volt supply for the fan, and we have the load bank itself grounded as well. The way this load bank works is we're going to be testing it at 120 to 40, and this specifically is a 55 kW load bank. We're not gonna be using all of these steps. However, we can use the 20 and the 30, the 20 and the 10, I'm sorry, to get us to a 30, um, and switch in between 10 and five to get to 25% and 50% load. So this is the load bank. That's the generator we'll be load banking today. We have the cables connected from the breaker into the load bank. We have the load bank grounded. And then one very important thing is always make sure the generator itself is grounded as well. So a few tips before we start. Safety is always first. Always make sure that your work area is clean. Always make sure that there aren't any foreign items anywhere that can jump and vibrate when the generator is starting to potentially jump onto another wire and cause a shortage somewhere. Always make sure that when you start the generator, even after you're connected, that your breaker is in its off position. Always make sure when you are running the generator, do not count on the generator panel or on a load bank panel, but always use a good electrical meter to test each lead by itself and make sure that the amperage that you're getting on your lead matches the amperage that you're getting on a screen and matches the amperage that the generator is outputting. The same thing goes for voltage. The fact that the machine, our load bank is telling us that the unit is 120 to 40 and the fact that the generator panel is telling us that it's 120 to 40 does not mean that it's 120 to 40. Always get your leads out, check your positives, check your leads, your A's and B's, check them both through the ground, make sure you're getting 120 to 40, and then we're ready to start.
60 hertz, no drop there. We got our voltage 120, 120 to 40, no voltage drop there. So far, so good. The temperature inside the unit has been good so far. Oil pressure has been good so far. Cooling temperature has been good so far. Make sure you monitor everything when you do a load bank. It's very important. Write it down every 10 minutes or so. So then you can follow back up on your work and make sure that you don't see anything should not be there or anything out of place. Very important. And that's how you load bank test the generator. We were able to do a 30 minute load bank on this generator today. It held power with no issues. Everything looked good. There are no visible leaks. Cooling and oil are good. It's been fully serviced in PM from the air filter to the oil filter to the fuel filter. We're gonna give it a good rinse and should be ready to go to its new home.